Here's a menu that is sure to get your mouth watering, complete with selections including pork collar steak with Naples style pasta, Japanese pork trio, and Asian fusion pork. Are you licking your lips yet? Those are just a few of the selections from last year's Taste of Elegance event sponsored by the South Dakota Pork Producers Council. And as our next guest, Stacy Sorling, can tell us, this year's event is certain to be even tastier. Welcome, Stacy. Thank you. So tell us about this event. You know, it's an event that we get chefs to compete um, and come up with a creative pork entree. Um, and then they're blind judged. We have three judges that come in. So they've got to do a bedazzle up a plate, and we serve them to a judges in a different room. And then we choose a first, second, and third place winner. Now, how many chefs do you have competing this year? We have 10. Oh my. Yes. Well, we've had a variety of amount. I mean, we've gone from four to like 14. I mean, so it kind of bounces all over every year. So, but lots of talented chefs in this state. Now, tell me about some of the, of the chefs. Uh, what are their specialties in? You know, they can use about any cut of pork that they choose. Um, we don't limit it on like if, it has to be pork chops or whatnot. You know, we've had anywhere from pork loin to tenderloin, which seems to be the popular one this year. Um, but, you know, they do cheek, meat, jowl, um, all kinds of stuff. So they really do do put up a lot of work into this recipe um, so that, you know, it's a competition. So they want to win. Now, you said pork loin is in this year. What are some past dishes that kind of caught your eye? You know, um, pork belly has always been kind of a new popular thing coming. It's been a trend the last several years. So it's been kind of nice um, because you get to see different ways that chefs create entrees with this pork belly. I mean, it's anywhere from, I mean, you and I probably think more along the lines of pork belly as bacon, but they come up with dishes to use that cut of meat. I love bacon. Now, how long has this event been going on for? You know, we've, this is our 31st year this year um, in Sioux Falls. Um, about eight years ago, we branched off and started our Rapid City Taste of Elegance, so we've been doing one out there as well. Okay, and you have some details about this year's event to share. Now, what's going on at this event? You know, we are doing a social hour at 5 o'clock. Our dinner starts at 6 o'clock with a banquet um, where we're going to honor our chefs that have won. Um, people that attend this event can pick their People's Choice winner and People's Choice runner-up. So they get a chance to vote as well. Not only do the judges make a final decision, but our guests get to make a decision as well on who wins. And then we are having samples of cheese from Dimmick Cheese. Mm -hmm. um, and then All My Cupcakes are serving us the dessert. Now, what is a reason, a main reason why people watching would go to this? You know, it's a great opportunity to support the local restaurants or their chefs. Um, but, you know, it just kind of brings that com camaraderie with the chefs. I mean, because they, they all know each other. And then, of course, you know, they want to win, and it challenges them to become better pork um, chefs. Now, what got you guys involved with these cooking competitions? You know, National Pork Board had developed this um, contest way back when, um, where actually our winner used to go and compete against all the other winners from the other states. Um, but we've kind of realigned how we handle our, our winners. Um, so now what we are doing is we're sending them to a pork summit, um, which is more of an education piece. We want to educate them, um, maybe help build their careers a little bit, and really hope that they put pork, more pork on their menus. Now let's talk about this year's chefs. I bet you're pretty excited. Now who are some of the people, uh, I guess, cooking this year? You know, there's lots of great chefs this year. There's 10. Um, we've got Chef Bob Allen from Ode to Food, um, Chef Nick from Avera McKinnon, Jason Alice from the Ram Coda, um, Chef Nufu from Hillside Resort up by Lake Madison, um, Chef Adrian from Minerva's in Yankton, and Chef Todd O'Reilly from Dakota Magic, uh, and Chef Mike DeLay, Trail Ridge Retirement Community, and Chef Omar Thorson from Oh So Good, and Chef Preston from Sequel Transition Academy, and Chef Gabriel from Tapio and Brandon. So some of these chefs have competed before, but we do have a whole handful of new chefs that have come um, come to play to show their talent. So it's kind of exciting. Now, is there a prize for this year as well? There is. It's a thousand dollars to the first place winner, and then they get to attend the Pork Summit, um, which is an education um, piece that we're going to send them to. Now, without spoiling anything, what's some of the things you're looking forward to the most this year? You know, like I said, these chefs go all above and beyond what they can do with pork, and. 
you know, it's all about the food and really what it boils down to. And, you know, each of our guests that come to the banquet on Sunday night get to sample a little piece of what they've created for the judges. So, I mean, everybody has a different recipe. So, I mean, all flavors, all kind of different traditions, it's, it's amazing. Now, what's your favorite part of the event every year? Is it, does it change from year to year, or do you have a one that you look forward to the most? You know, I like watching new chefs win. Um, you know, getting that excitement within the chefs, um, you know, that builds up, you know, through the watching them judge in the morning. They're nervous, they're shaking, they're trying to plate their plates, they're under a time schedule. And then watching them throughout the day and then seeing that winner um, that night is just huge because it just, I mean, it's great because they have put so much time and effort into it and to see their, you know, get the rewards of their time. So, of course. Now, let's uh, get into some event details as well. Uh, now, what's going on this year with a with, uh, reminder of the events going on one more time? So, this Sunday is our Taste of Elegance. Uh, social hour starts at 5 o'clock. Um, 6 o'clock is the banquet, the dinner. Tickets are $45 in advance, or you can buy a table of 10 for $400. And there's still tickets available, so they can call our office um, or email us. That would be great. Well, my last question is, how are there still tickets available when there's bacon involved? I know. I know. <laughs> it's hard to say. So, but there still are. Oh, my gosh. Well, thank you so much, Stacy, for coming. This was great. Thank you. Ready to go shopping for pork to perk up your next meal? You'll find some great recipes on the South Dakota Pork Producers Council website at sdppc.org. Got a question about pork? Call them. Give them a call at 605-332-1600. And be sure and like the South Dakota Pork Producers Council Facebook page or follow them on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter.